<laughs> so this is the work of my PhD student, Maku um, Nguyoni, that finished this year. So we did the research because there are various reports from growers that even though they fumigate, the trees in their second and third year still st seem stunted and don't really want to take off. There are really various reasons for this, which can include ineffective applications and suboptimal soil preparations, as well as nursery material that are contaminated with the ARD pathogens. So the approaches that we looked at at improving fumigation was different formulations of the chloropicrine, dichloropicrine formulations, and then also the use of semi-selective chemicals. So what these semi-selective chemicals are, remembering that ARD is caused by a bunch of organisms, we selected chemicals that targeted the different groups. So the first one was phenomifos that targets the nematodes. Then we used metalaxyl and phosphonates, with the phosphonates being used in a three-year program to target the all my seeds. And we did not have a chemical to target the fungal component. Additionally, although um, woolly apple aphid isn't part of the ARD complex, we did include imidacloprid because this um, insect often is associated with um, planting materials. So we conducted three orchard trials that evaluated these different treatments. Um, two ratios of the chloropicrine, dichloropicrine, with the low one being 33%, which is the standard which most growers currently use, and then a higher one of 57%, then semi-selective chemicals on their own, and then also the semi-selective combines with the fumigation. And then for two trials, we still had methyl bromide, which was the standard in previous years. So we measured tree growth, um, shoot length and trunk diameter for the first four years or three years of the trials. And with regard for this measurement, all of the treatments were effective. They significantly improved tree growth relative to the untreated control. Um, However, when we looked at yield, so I'm going to show you two graphs. This graph shows the yield of the first and the second year, as well as the cumulative um, yields. So for the first trial, what we saw was that there was a significant higher yield when you used the high chloropicrine formulation. And we also saw in the second trial, which I'm not going to show you the data, that the high chloropicrine significantly improved yields relative to the control, whereas the low chloropicrine could not do this. And then in this trial specifically, we also saw if we combine the semi-selective with the low chloropicrine formulation that we significantly improved yields. And with this trial, we um, almost got a 160% increase in yield with this specific treatment. Then in the third and last trial, we were actually not surprised that we got this um, result, where none of the fumigants actually significantly increased yield, and our best treatment was the low chloropicrine combined with the semi-selectives. So for us, there was a good reason for seeing this, because the orchard was taken out and fumigated within the first year, um, or the same year, and there were a lot of um, fresh roots left in the soil that served as a reservoir of the ARD organisms within the biological vacuum created by the fumigation. So the organisms that we saw um, were prevalent in the trials was Phytophthora and Cactorum, and we also think there is an interaction between them. So we think in ARD, these pathogens are important to control. So the recommendation is to rather use the high chloropicrine fumigant instead of the standard low that most growers have been using. And then also to add the semi-selective combined with the high chloropicrine, although we haven't evaluated this extensively, I think considering that our plant material is often contaminated with the ARD pathogens, and especially if you're planting on a site where you could not remove all of the roots or they are very fresh roots, um, this is a good um, protective measure. And then I would like to thank Orgro and Thrip for funding, and especially Marco for doing all of this research. Thank you.